Our next Weibo post that is getting the attention of Chinese net users is an excerpt from the Washington Times article that claims Obama finished his 100th game of golf since he took office three and a half years ago. Now, the milestone, as the paper calls it, represents four months of work time spent on golf courses, which does seem a tad much. Let's take a look at the comments. I think one of the reasons why America is the world's most powerful country is because they have the smartest people coming up with long-term plans. I don't think the president needs to do much of the planning since it seems no matter who gets elected, they all want a piece of the Middle East. Sure, he can play golf. Everything else is probably already planned out for him. So what if Obama likes golf? Look at our country's top leaders. They all belong in an old folks home. Even if they want to play golf, they probably don't have the stamina. Maybe they can practice some calligraphy and watch some Peking opera. Well, it seems Chinese people think Obama has quite a healthy hobby. Now, I don't know if all 100 golf games were played during office hours, but I think perhaps at least some of those games were played in the interest of the American people. Now, if Hollywood taught me anything, it's that rich and powerful people conduct their business on the golf course. Well, either that or through video feeds from secret bases. Let's see what other people have to say. Oh, the evils of capitalist America. People would even keep a record on the number of golf games the president has played and announce it to the world. Are they trying to rebel? American media makes such a big deal out of everything. So what if Obama spends four months playing golf? Look at our local bureaucrats. They spend more time on the dinner table and in brothels. You know, I've realized that Chinese net users are not easily shocked by news of the misconduct or corruption of American officials. Because to them, no matter how bad they are, there are always much more extreme examples in China. Although, to be fair, the last comment about the brothel is a little far-fetched. You would need superhuman stamina for that one. Well, that's it for this segment of On the Radar. Next up, we cross over to you guys and find out what non-Chinese think about events that occur in China.